Good morning. It's summertime in Mississippi. Surface temperatures in the high 80s, may even dip into the low 90s today. These fish are on the brush piles and I'm using small baits, swimming it across the tops of the brush and they're coming up and eating it. I'm hoping we're gonna catch some good ones today. Thanks for watching. <laughs> Hey, these surface temperatures this year are cooler than anything I've seen in the last several years. It's mid 80s. Normally this time of year, it's in the low 90s, but we're gonna get out there and fish. I love overcast days. It's not as hot and I think the fish tend to bite better. At any rate, there is my jig and weight about 15 feet from the boat. Can't really see it yet. Just bringing it along the top of these brush piles. One of them's chasing it. Got it. Got that one. He couldn't resist. Look at that mambo jumbo. Get up here, dude. These are some nice fish. I didn't really have time to clean them, so I was letting them go today. Look at the size of that. That's a way to start the day off. Yeah, almost 14. Black crappie. These are some thick fish. That's a way to start the day. Nice 14 inch black crappie. We're letting them go today. Okay, get that soft plastic lined up perfectly straight. Get it back out there in a hurry. Okay, there's my jig and weight about 10 feet from the boat. Dropping down to some fish. I'm gonna bring it on top. Looks like there's a couple on the top of that brush pile. I'm gonna twitch it around. You can't really see the jig, but I know it's in the right area. So I'm just kind of twitching it. When I'm about to eat it. Got that one. Couldn't resist it. Put it right in the middle of that and gave it a little twitch. Man, he said, I gotta get some of that. He said, dude, he said, I'm gonna let you go. Got my little wild willies. Things 12 and almost 12 and a half. We're letting you go too. Oh, we got two so far. Okay, I'm using that Wild Willie's OCD Little Minnow. It's 1.75 inches. The color is Pearly Gates. It's got a little bit of uh, silver flex in it. They love it. And I'm going to be trimming off part of the tail just to make it more finesse. Okay, let's get it back in there and catch some of these summertime crappie. Hopefully we'll get some of them to bite. There's the jig and weight dropping down to them. I'm going to drag it across the top, see if one of them will eat it. One of them's about to. Got that one. He could not resist it. Every cast. Good night. Look at the way he ate it. Look at that. <laughs> that guy wanted it. Another. Probably that 12 inches. 12 inch black crappie. Look at that dude right there. Ouch. Dang, got me. Let them go. Hey, do me a favor. Hit that like button and please subscribe. Man, I appreciate your support. There's a couple good looking crappie about 25 feet from the boat. There's my jig and weight. I'm going to bring it right to him. Twitch it a little bit. See if one of these dudes is going to eat it. Yup. Got that one. Came up and nabbed it. What the heck? You found a hook. Nope. You got it. Get you back home, buddy. Twelve and a half inch 
black crappie. Look at that. 12 and a half inch. Nice one. Get back in there, dude. That's number four. All right, here's the setup. Got my uh, Daiwa Fuego 2500 series reel, 10 pound test monofilament. My 10 foot ugly stick, carbon crappie. Love it. Excellent backbone, sensitive tip. The reel seat's awesome. You can feel the blank with your finger right here. I got a eighth ounce bullet weight pegged and a little 64th ounce crappie or 64th ounce trout magnet jig head. It's nickel plated. And I've been using the, the um, pearly gates, which is this white color by Wild Willie's OCD, or the blue and white, blue head, white tail. And that's it. That's the setup. We are wearing them out. Thanks for hanging around. There's some nice looking crappie about 30 feet from the boat on top of that brush. I believe they're crappie. There's my jig and weight coming down to them. We're about to find out what they are. I'm going to kind of dance that jig right on top of them. See if one of them will come out and get it. There he is. Got that one. He came up and nabbed it. And that's a big one. He couldn't resist it. Big old white crappie. Good Lord. Get up here, you big toad. I can barely boat flip it. It's barely hooked. Look at the size of that toad. Oh, easy, dude. Thanks for let you go. Look at that. Sugar's 15 inch white crappie. That's a, that's a toad white crappie right there. Look at that sucker. Let's get you back in there. Okay, let's do it again. Line up that transducer. That's the view you want, where you see the fish on top of the structure. And there is my jig and weight coming down to them, about 34 feet away. Bringing it right on top. Keep that transducer lined up. And it is so cool when one of them comes out and gets it. Like right about there. Oh, I can't barely see. You can see him on the screen. He came up and nabbed it. Dang. Get up here. Another nice keeper. Eleven inch, a little over eleven. Black crappie. We're letting you go. Back in there. Normally these summertime fish tend to be a little bit thinner, but these fish are thick and healthy. They've been eating. All right, there's my jig and weight. Oh, one of them turned already. Oh my goodness, that sucker came up and nabbed it right under the boat. Okay, there's my jig and weight coming back down to them. Let's see if we can get one of them to bite it. Looks like one of them's following it underneath. He's coming up to get it. Got that one 12 feet out. He studied it for a minute and decided he better get something to eat. And when they chase it down and eat it, that is sweet. He wanted it too. Because this time of year especially, you get a lot of chasing with no commitment. Oh, we're going to do surgery on this one. They chase it down and eat it, that is awesome. No problemo. Crappie, 11 inch, we're letting that go. Number seven. Down, I don't really see any fish specifically on top of the brush, but I think there are some mixed in there. You can see the return. 
I'm going to bring it right on top. There's one fish suspended above. One of them's about to get it. Got that one. You can see him on the top of that breast. Goodness gracious. All day long. Easy, easy, easy. Come here, dude. Goodness gracious. It's 12 inch. 12 inch black crappie. So even if you can't see individual fish, when you're fishing these brush piles, bring it through the mess of them and sometimes they'll come out and eat it. And when they do, it is really exciting. All right, there's my jig and weight. 22 feet. Oh, I thought that one might be interested. So I keep on reeling it. He wasn't interested, but one of them will be right about, oh, he got it. Oh, that's a catfish. Gotta be. Oh, that's a crappie. Dang. Get out there, dude. Man, I thought that was a catfish. Boy, he hit. Mm. 12 and a half inch black crappie. That's exactly what I'm talking about. 12 and a half inch. Get back in there, dude. Okay, I'm gonna bring it right on top of those fish. It looked like there's some fish about 30 feet away too. I'm gonna bring it right on top. If I can get it lined up right. Okay, see if one of them will eat it. Oh yeah, he's got it. Got that one. <laughs> they could not resist it. Get up here, dude. Later, man. I am going to let you go, man. Keep your bait in the strike zone as much as possible. And one of them will likely eat it. That's a good one right there. Another 12 and a half inch. Black crappie, 12 and a half inch. Get back in there, dude. Okay, I'm just kind of scanning around. Can't really see anything yet. I'm gonna keep scanning around. There's some brush. There we go. Now, looks kind of interesting. So I'm gonna flip it out there. Kind of bring it down that tree, which is fallen. And it looks like there's some fish hanging around. I'm right on top of one of them. There's some more. Oh, one of them got it already. I didn't even see it. Got <laughs> that one right under the boat. Just stuck it in front of him. He ate it. Goodness gracious. Let's see. Twelve and a half, over twelve and twelve and a half inches. Like crappie. Look at that dude right there. Back in there. Okay, some more brush. I'm gonna flip it out there. I would much rather be fishing in the winter time chasing these open water crappie. To me, that is incredible, incredible fun. This time of the year, mostly I'm just casting the fish and trying to trigger a bite, not really targeting specific fish. There he is. He got that one 14 feet out. He came up and dabbed it. Goodness gracious. Get in there, dude. It's right. A little over 12 inches. Black crappie. Just another 12 inch. Look at that. Goodness gracious. Get in there. <sighs> There's a group of fish about 27 feet from the boat. There's my jig and weight coming on top of him. This one does not waste any time. He's about to get it. Right there. Got that one. He came up. Oh, that's a big old bluegill. Goodness gracious, look at the size of that. Oh, 
rod tip just broke. I need my plastic back too. Look at the size of that. Copper nose bluegill right there. That's a toad. See his copper nose right there? That's a toad, man. I broke my rod tip off. Don't even know how that happened. But that is not good. I'm not liking that at all. Be taking that back to Walmart. Okay, gotta get that soft plastic lined up. There's some good looking fish, about 28 feet away. I'm gonna cast to them. There's my jig and weight coming down to them. Got a reel right before it hits him. And hopefully one of them's gonna get it. Yup, right there. Oh, we got that one. That's a big one. He was right on top of that brush. Goodness gracious. Oh, it got off at the trolling motor. Man. <laughs> Second we got away. Okay, there's some more fish. I'm gonna chunk it out there. I love that good looking structure right there with fish. One of them's about to get it. Got that one. He came up and nabbed it. <clears throat> Hopefully we'll get this one in the boat. Get in here, dude. Goodness gracious, look at the size of this black girl. Easy, 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 easy. God. Twelve and a half, over twelve and a half black crack. Look at his shoulders. Get out of here, we're letting you go today. Another good tip is, if the fish stop biting on a brush pile, it's good to change up colors at least once to see if you can trigger another bite or two. So I'm going with the blue and white here. See if they'll eat it. Trimmed off part of the tail. All right. Flip it out there. Cast it. Hopefully not get snagged up. And get it over that one branch sticking up right there. There we go. Now I'm going to let it drop back down. There's some good looking fish in there. One of them's going to get it. Got that one. It came right out of the middle of that mess. Get up here, man. That is a good one, too. Goodness gracious. Like the blue and white. Let's hang out here for a little bit. Look at that monster. Almost 14, 13 and three quarter. Whoa, little black, black crappy 13 and three quarter, almost 14. Get back in there. 15. There's a bunch of good looking fish about 30 feet away. I'm gonna flip it out there. One of them's about to come up and get it. This guy does not waste any time. He wanted to eat it. He's about to get it right now. Got that one 30 feet out. Goodness gracious, they're eating it up. I want that blue and white now. Get up here. Get in the boat, little fella. Goodness gracious. Look at the size of that monster. 13 and a half. Black crappie, 13 and a half. Yeah, man. Get back in there. Okay, there's fish about 26 feet from the boat. There's my jig and weight coming down to them. One of them's about to get it right there. Got that one right off the top of that tree at 24 feet. Lord, 
That's another goon. Right at 14 inches black crappie. 14 inch black. Look at that. Get back in there, dude. We're letting them go. Look at this good looking brush pile. Man, that looks good. We're about to find out if they're catfish or crappie or bluegill. One of them's about to get it right there. Got that one. He came up and nabbed it. <laughs> Goodness gracious. Mm, big old white crappie. Cannot resist it. Wow, Willis. That's a good one. 13 and a half. White crappie, 13 and a half inch. Man. Oh my goodness, look at that. That is a good looking brush pile. It's like a bunch of crappie. I don't know if they're crappie or bluegill, but it looks good and we're about to find out. There's my jig and weight right on top of them. One of them's gonna get it. Got that one. He could not resist it. Right on my right side of that thing. All right, we're catching one more after this and calling it a day. Thirteen inch black crappie. Thirteen inches, yes. Get back in. There's a couple good looking fish about ten feet from the boat, and flip my jig and wait out there. They look like crappie. They're kind of sitting still. Hopefully one of them's about to bite it. I'm gonna bring it on top. One of them's chasing it right there. Can't really see it, but one of them's about to get it right there. Got him. <laughs> he came up and got it. Last fish of the day. Calling it a day. Get in before 12 noon. Get him. Have mercy. I'm trying to let you go, little fella. Goodness gracious. Almost right at 12 inches. Last fish of the day. Nice black crappie. Letting them go. Hey, man, I appreciate you hanging out with me today. I appreciate your support. God bless you. Get out there and go fishing soon. <laughs>